I'm hoping it will be the most pleasant smell. Like today when I open my terrariums, there's this beautiful like <laughs> earthy perfume from the moss and everything that just smells so clean and fresh. That's what I want to imagine things will smell like. Now, if I walk by a dead, decaying animal in the Carboniferous or whatever, that might change the sense a little bit. But overall, I'm hoping it's going to smell like so awesome that I'm going to want to bottle it and turn it into a candle that I can sell. You bring up a really good point, though, Gabe, because in the Carboniferous, we don't have uh, decomposers yet, right? Like every Mm -hmm. tree that falls down is just laying there. It's not actively decaying. So the decay smells will be from animals, not plants. If you just kind of avoid the animal areas, because in the Carboniferous, we don't have any animals that are amniotes yet. So if you move far away enough from water, it's just going to be plants. And if we're thinking about pre-flowering plants, right, we've just got spore reproducing plants. I'm almost feeling like it's kind of like these PNW forests in the wintertime. Our flowering plants are dormant. We've got our ferns. We've got our pines. Like, I'm imagining a very lovely little stroll as well. And since we've already been terrified of viruses, let me have my plant person time and think it's going to be so lovely. (laughs) I think she'll be... Uh, a real nice stroll with a real nice smell. Surviving Deep Time is available now at youtube.com slash eons and wherever you get your podcasts.